location, location, location. That's right, and in tonight's Green Outdoors report, we go to a museum that has one of the best locations in Maine. But as New Center's Bill Green explains, hardly anyone goes there. What a spot. We're looking at Katahdin from Ambajijis Lake. We fished before with Wiggy Robinson, a master of the physically and intellectually demanding sport of ice fishing. Wiggy knows the country around Katahdin and not just the woods and waters, but places like the Boom House. River Drivers built the first Boom House in 1831. It provided lodging and food for those who did the back-breaking labor in Maine's North Woods. Today, it's the only surviving structure connected with the West Branch log drives and is listed on the National Register of Historic Places. See the sleeping quarters. Here you can see the marks on the stairs left by the corked boots, as well as the boots themselves. And augers, stoves, even bateaux that carried many river drivers to their destinies and into Maine legend. The next time somebody tells you about the good old days, bring them to the Boom House. This is the weighed schedule for the winter of 1917 through 18, the year my father was born. A sawyer working in the cold in the woods could earn himself a dollar sixty-five, and that's not an hour, that's a day. Oh, these are little colorful. But do you want to talk or do you want to fish? With Wiggy, you can do both. We had lots of fun, lots of flags, and late in the day, a pretty good fish. Oh, uh, still taking line. Ah, if I pull that up, just keep pulling against that fish, we're going to lose him. It seems the boom house is in the perfect location for ice fishermen and other lovers of culture. It's just beyond the end of the road in T1 R9. Bill Green, News Center. <laughs> And by the way, we are told that Wiggy made it back from his fishing trip just in time to celebrate his 50th anniversary with his wife, Joyce.